Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. So you've got loads and loads of images and you want to create a nice data set for your machine learning task. Maybe you're doing something like Stargan 2 ADA and you want images 512 by 512 or perhaps 1024 by 1024. You've got lots of images and doing this manually is rather annoying. If only there was a tool for automating common video frame extraction, video compression and image auto crop or image resize tasks. Uh, oh yes, oh, that's, that's what it says here in the about section, isn't it? Katna. It cuts and it slices. So, as mentioned, we've got a video module and an image module. The video module will take frames that are sufficiently different from the previous ones and give you lots of frames. So you could say, select 20 frames from a video and that will give you lots of nice images from there. Or the image module, which I'm gonna be looking at mostly here, which has edge, saliency and face detection features. Okay, great stuff. And uh, if you've got lots of crops, then it'll run through various filters and pick the best ones out for you. Ooh, okay. Lots of video formats supported and lots of image formats supported. Great stuff. So how do I get this installed? Pip install Catna. There we go. As easy as it can possibly get. Or if you're like me, you'll want to conda create minus minus name Catna Python equals 3.7 conda activate Catna and then pip install Catna. So you've got a little virtual environment for it. Ooh. Okay. So documentation as well. It has lots of documentation. How to use Catna. Excellent. Now the one I like the most is resize all images in a directory. There's also crop all images in a directory as well. So let's have a little look at the resize all images in a directory first. There are a few things that are quite important for you to enter. The uh, directory path where the images are going to be uh, extracted, the target width, target height, and a down sample factor. The default down sample factor is eight. If you've got very large images, say uh, 2000 by 2000, you may want to increase that down sample factor to something like 16 or 32, depending on your original image size. Basically, the higher that is, the faster it will run. Okay, so you've got little program there. Now these are the same as the ones if you did a git clone on here, you'll have this uh, example image py and the image resize and the directory. So all those examples there, you'll also find in the documentation over here. So I've got those saved in my Katna directory. And here is an example image resize from directory. So here I'm resizing images. I want them 512 by 512 and I'm using a down sample factor of 32. Okay, let's have a look at some of these images. So I've got lots of images of cats. There's a cat and their brick and a cat and their ball and a cat on a bed and big cat face and a little tiny kitten and all sorts of cats in all sorts of different places. And uh, I want to either crop or resize these. So let's have a little look at the resize first. That's pretty easy. So we just run a resize there. That will go through and create a new directory cat and resize because that's what I've wanted to call it in there and it's looking in the input directory current directory which is where i am so it'll go through all these cats resize them to 512 by 512 and uh, you'll have to do a little bit of manual work as well there may be you know not, not quite the perfect resize in there for you but uh, if you've got lots and lots of images i think there's uh, there's just over 100 in there then uh, doing this automated method is certainly quicker than doing it by hand so let's have a little look so we've got a cat resize there 512 by 512 if we just have a quick uh, compare to the original Let's uh, shrink this down a little bit so we can see them both. So there's the original and there's the cat. So let's crop that one out, we'll resize that one nicely, I mean. And there, yeah, it's, it's done a nice resize on that. Sort of pick the salient features out. Yeah, there we go, there we go. So we've got, got a cat there, got a cat there. So it doesn't really matter if the cat's on the left or right. See, not, not quite as good there, not quite as good there. But uh, yeah, it'll, it'll mostly pick out the features for you. That's quite a good one. And uh, yeah, there you go. So it does, does all that automatically for you. Great stuff, eh? Saves a, a lot of work resizing. And they're all, the, they're all the same size there, so 512 by 512. Now you can also do a crop as well, if I just get rid of those resizes quickly, goodbye. So the same thing here, I want to uh, do an example crop image. So example crop, there we go. Now a number of crops to return, say I want to return uh, four different crops, four different crops, and uh, I'll, I'll make them 1024 by 1024 this time, because why not? Same sort of down sample factor of 32. Run through there. Again, I create my cat the crops directory. That will run through all the cats. And uh, slightly different to resize in that it does a crop. So uh, we'll just wait for it to do that thing. Now, as you can see there, it's uh, no perfect crop or image. Uh, cat 20. So if we have a quick look at cat 20, just to show you an example, the property of this image is it's 959 
by 1119 so it's it's uh, it's not got the right width on there so it can't crop it because it's it's already smaller than that crop so that's something to be aware of when you're doing crops but let's have a look at the crops and there you go we've got a cat and a brick and some different variants on that as well if you wanted so i selected four so i've got four different crops sort of again picks the salient features that one did slightly better on the second time didn't it there you go so depending on what you want if you want crops or if you want resizes either on the uh, the crop or the resize so fantastic there you go katna quick easy that's what you want it to do rodent out